Hello Transformers fans! I've got a real treat for you today. Transmetal's Karen from Beast Wars. His name is probably short for Skarden for Life or something like that. His robot mode is stuff of nightmares. Really something that Freddy Krueger probably dreamt of being. Um, the thing is that his old mode, old uh, insect mode, is uh, it's actually hard to, I don't know, configure the right way to make it look anything um, like a beetle that he is supposed to be. You can probably try and bending these knees like this, but uh, I don't know. He's a bit of a mess. Mm, but a delightful mess, I must say. <laughs> of course, he's a Predacon. And he is uh, the son of Megatron, uh, the son. If he was from Japanese cartoons, that would probably be the thing, but um, in a sense that Megatron created him while cloning and experimenting and doing stuff like that. It's the thing that Megatron... actually, the thing that Megatrons do. And, of course, uh, when you've got a crappy toy, you've got to give him decent stats and actually he only has endurance of above 9 the rest is between 5 and 6 and courage is high um, a very low rank of course yes I've had the card so I know what I'm saying uh, I believe oh. yeah he's a ruthless fighter a cold calculating blah 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 his fighting techniques are unstoppable yeah we know that well, let's have a look and this naughty bastard. Can you see the metallic paint? I love this color. It's fantastic. It's actually due to its metallic kinness, it's hard to name it properly. Dark violet, I don't know. Uh, the techno organic detailing is of course superb. The bug face is fantastic. Um, the asymmetrical build works for him very nice, even to the point of having a thing sticking out of his back and the wing having a hole for the thing. And then we get to the legs, which are shit. <laughs> really, in both modes they are shit. But what can you do? <sighs> now, for the transformation. <sighs> we'll clip the legs together. And these will form his robot legs. Fantastic, simply fantastic legs, oh my god. <clears throat> then the arms will move out so we can collapse uh, the bug's head, revealing the robot face, which is actually very, 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 very nice. And we'll have a look at him uh, in a second. Um, that's actually it, but the oh, stand still. There are a couple of things you can do. First, you can leave him with his poncho, which I like because it's it's strange, and I like strange things. That's all. Uh, or you can give him shoulder patties, yay, obscuring his view. Something that Hasbro loves to do, and Takara and everything. Um, then there's, um, you can see his crotch, the whole cot piece, um, fitting nicely with the chest. But you can twist it around, making the legs look uh, slightly less silly. Mm, okay, the chest detailing. Yeah, ribs, muscles, uh, techno-organic thingies, metal meshed with flesh. Yeah, the things we love. Let's have a look at the face. And the face is fierce, animalistic, uh, somewhere between, I don't know, um, tarantulas, uh, the transmetal rat trap, and yeah, the brainy part, which is actually a bunch of circuits. Oh, my hands are shaking. Yes, they do. Often quite 
yeah, yeah, the head will turn a bit, but uh, doesn't help anything really, and he will not. Uh, he will not stay in place here. Maybe with the pads up, yeah, it's a bit better, but. You can see how problematic this figure is. You can already see it. But the best part about him are his hands. <laughs> Sight hands. Fantastic idea though. It would be nice if he could move the blade parts uh, a bit, but he can't. <laughs> Tough luck. Uh, oh, there's nice detailing on the biceps. Yeah, again, going for the whole asymmetrical transmetal thing. Uh, so, final verdict on this guy. I don't know. Um, if you can get him cheap, get him. He's fun. Uh, he looks very strange, even among Beast Wars figures, maybe save for some fuses. Um, he was part of a big lot, so... Why not? I picked him up and I'm pretty glad I did. He can't wave you goodbye without shattering the lens, so I will wave for him. Bye!